making is a, a medium that requires a lot of process, and I really like that aspect of it. My name is Bob Franzini. I am a professor of art at Moorhead State University. I'm a printmaker and artist. I started with lithography. Uh, it was my first love in printmaking. I still love lithography. Uh, in fact, I do more lithography now than the other media. But when I went out to the Midwest and I lived in Kansas and in Indiana and in Michigan and Iowa, I really focused on intaglio printing, the copper plate. And I used the Buren and I did, I spent hours and days working on engravings. And I loved the process. I was just totally immersed in it. Uh, what a great medium. Uh, so I worked in intaglio primarily in my graduate work, even though my last year they brought in lithography and I was the graduate assistant because I knew lithography. When I was an undergraduate student in college on the West Coast, uh, I took a class in painting and I was considering being an art major at the time, even though I had started my studies in engineering. And so I uh, was painting in the studio and I noticed there was a room next to our studio where there were some interesting things going on. So I walked in there and there were lithographic stones there were people working on graining stones and uh, printing lithographs, and it just seemed fascinating to me. Maybe it had to do with my bent towards process and, and uh, engineering, but uh, I took that class the next semester. Printmaking has been the media of choice for me since that time. Lith, lith means stone. Lithography, historically, was done on lithographic limestone. And it's a wonderful matrix or surface upon which to work because of the qualities that it produces in the drawing, in the crayon, in the water drawing material called tush. You can get beautiful qualities with that that unlike any other medium. And lithography, it's based on the simple principle that grease and water do not mix. So your image is on the stone. You keep the stone continuously wet with the sponge while you're inking the image. The image is grease. The rest of the stone retains water and repels the ink from the roller. I'm mixing up some ink here to apply to a plexiglass plate. This is what's used for the monotype process. I've done a lot of work with monotype. The medium of monotype is where an artist creates a singular print using some kind of flat surface upon which they manipulate either ink or paint. And a monotype can be done on plexiglass or copper plates and it's a wonderful direct approach to creating a image that you use the printing press to impress upon a piece of paper and create that image. Intaglio is a printmaking process uh, usually using a copper or zinc plate where an artist etches lines or textures into the plate. Then they ink the plate up, wipe off the top surface, place the plate on the press, put a piece of dampened paper over that and a felt, and crank it through the press. 
The paper is forced down into the inked depressions, the lines, the textures, and then the impression, the print, is pulled off the plate. I was born in Palo Alto, California. Uh, I lived there for 22 years. Went to college, Stanford University. I studied lithography there with Nathan Oliveira, who, although well known as a painter, loved lithography, and uh, some of that rubbed off on me. Uh, artistically speaking, uh, I've always been a visual person as a child. All I really wanted to do in school was draw. And I would have reams of paper and pencils and be drawing all the time. I love to draw, I love to express myself through mark making. It just came natural. Drawing was always a strength, but also my visual life, uh, using my eyeballs, was something that came natural too. So that played into my development as a visual artist. I was very, very involved with the Dixieland band, but also the jazz in the Bay Area back in the 60s. My group would go to the Monterey Jazz Festival for the entire time. And the term improvisation, spontaneity, those terms cross over into the visual arts. I really see those as a kind of mm, equivalent to monotype, monotype printing, where I can work directly on the plate with immediacy, uh, spontaneity. I feel that connects me with uh, a process that works very well in the creation of a, a, a development of an idea or an image.